Hey everyone, it's good to be talking to you on this Thursday. Can you believe you only have two more weeks of your freshman year? That's right, next week and then the week after that and you are officially rising sophomores, which means that you'll be 10th graders next year. Oh man, it's been quite a year. I, you know, honestly, if there was an award for strangest freshman or high school experience, you guys would probably win it if there, if there was a competition, right? Um, so we're going to go ahead and get started. Today is mostly focused on Lexile testing, so let's get into that. Okay, so we start with the song, if you'd like to listen to it. The daily affirmation is, I am not alone, even if I feel lonely and misunderstood. This is not at all to minimize feelings of alienation, anxiety, or loneliness, uh, because during the, this time, those are very real. Right? Maybe you are physically, physically feeling very separated and alone, like no one's really there for you. Um, because it's really hard to connect to teachers or advisors or other students, even if you're texting or doing one-on-one -on -one conferences or seeing me do this video. Um, maybe you feel isolated from your peer group. Maybe your parent's parent works, and so you're home alone, or you're home with a young child, um, you know, like younger brother or sister. And that can be very intellectually or mentally isolating when you're spending time with somebody who... You know, again, like a five-year-old isn't really able to have full, full conversations like, you know, you and me could. So just know this is a normal feeling, especially for this time, and it's an important one to recognize. Now, when I say feeling lonely, you are not alone, this isn't to minimize those feelings. It's rather to say, like, lots of people are going through this, like my advisees have talked to me and other students have reached out to me, sort of with this as a sentiment. So just understand that, like, it is a totally normal um feeling to be processing during this time. It's one of the reasons why school is so great is we get to see our friends and teachers and each other every day, right? And so this, this can be a hard time. Okay, next thing is Pitzer College. Really cool video. Uh, this is, I don't think I've ever said this. This might be the best video I've ever seen from a college just because it does such a great job of like showing how mature the students are, the quality of student that they are. Uh, it does a really great job of going through the entire campus sort of like section by section and outlining why it'd be a great place to go. So uh, about halfway through the video, it talks about the class size. So class size is how many kids are on average in a class. When I was in Arizona, anecdotally, in my first year psychology class, there was like 400 students in Psych 101. And that's certainly not the case at a small liberal arts college. So go ahead, check this out, and it will tell you the answer there. Yeah. The um, question for the day like, is, how are you feeling today and why? You know, this is a sort of uh, different from favorite band or something, <laughs> favorite band or something like that. But it's an important question, right? Just as a check-in. Um, I'm feeling two things. I'm feeling frustrated because of some changes that are happening around Legacy. But I'm also grateful to have my wonderful advisory kids, student, and family. Um, hey, look, there's there's two of them in their target outfits right there. Cool. <laughs> and there's Isaac. I think that's Carlos sleeping right there. <laughs> Fair enough. Um, but I know it's a weird time, so how are you feeling? Like, honestly, what's going on? I want to know how you're doing. Okay. Okay. So that's the daily routine. Go ahead and scroll it down now. Uh, we're going to be taking our Lexile test, and there's three steps to do this. The first is please go to the slideshow and then go to your corresponding period to find your username and information. So if you're in period one, you're going to go to the slideshow and go to um, slide number five. So if I'm Daniel Alvarado, I see that my login name is daniel.alvarado.27 and my password is golf. Okay. This will make sense in a second. Okay, number two, uh, there's this video. It's kind of a corny video, kind of silly looking, but it really does do a great job of taking you step by step on what you have to do. So like I know these Luxile tests, I'm usually right there to help you with it and I answer questions in person, um, but because I won't be there, you know, with you in that room or wherever it is you're doing this, um, this video really, really does go step by step. So really check it out. And then the third and final thing is a link to the actual um, login itself. So this is Achieve 3000. Go ahead to log in. And then this is my password. What you're going to use is the information from um, uh, over here. So if my name is Daniel Alvarado, 
Okay, I'll go ahead and type in Daniel Alvarado, and I remember my password from the screen earlier. Again, the password is going to be right down here. So Desiree, Daniel, Michael, Andrea, Hector, and you can you can see your, your information there. Okay. Uh, something important to notice about this is like you notice this little period right here. Like the computer will notice if this period is in here. So make sure you include these little dots. It's it's really important. Then you go to log in, and there'll be something here that says test. Right. And then you uh, you begin the test there and you're good to go. Alright. Sort of like it says right here. Um There'll be this thing with like a green light. It says level test is available now. Click on where it says start test now, and it'll it'll take you through the whole thing. Okay. All right. So after that's all said and done, uh, it'll it'll ask it'll give you a score like a number. Uh, this could be anything from like three hundred to fifteen hundred. So just type in your number here. We'll make more sense of these numbers next week, but please do your best on this. You know whether that means finding a quiet place meditating before the test itself, um, using the restroom, eating before starting the quiz, just like all the things you usually do before like the ACT or whatever. Um, make sure make sure you're onto that. Okay. And this test can take anywhere from 15 to 45 minutes to, to an hour. My guess for most of us, it'll take us 35 minutes to an hour. Okay. If you're under that, it's okay. If you're over that, it's okay. That's the general range I experience in our classroom though. Now activity two is reflections for ending the year. Uh, what I'd love to see here is like, how can we end the year? I don't know if positive is the right word because you know, positivity isn't the response to everything all the time. You know, to be honest, sometimes you have to process other emotions, whether that's meaning or sadness or whatever. So how can we end the year in an appropriate way? What do you think? Well, one thing that's been brought to my attention was actually Mr. Shino's idea. And I was doing a ninth grade yearbook and so that's what we're doing. I'm sure many of you have seen this before or worked with your advisor on this before, um, but effectively this is a picture of all of your beautiful faces, except for like three of you who have to find pictures for. And um, after after the, your pictures, uh, we have pictures from UCSD. So there's Genesis, there's Becky, <laughs> there's Daniel, no, there's Bree, there's Carlos, this is Jade. And you can like sort of find other people throughout here. And then after these UCSD pictures, there's pictures from you all doing sports. Uh, there's pictures, oh, I went the wrong way. Pictures from sports, pictures from clubs, pictures from PMC hours, um, and then eventually at homecoming, uh, quarter award winners. And then at the end, you'll each get a copy of this and you can um, sort of sort of make a copy that way. Okay. Um, but what this activity is right here, is asking how can we make this like better? I've never made a yearbook before. This is my first time doing it, so I'd, I'd appreciate feedback. Okay. So question one is after you click on here, what is something that makes this yearbook more memorable, or what could make it more memorable? Right? Maybe this is including videos. Maybe this is like a, an interview with somebody. Maybe this is like a Q and A. Maybe we should include something for like distance learning. Like I haven't included a section for like interviews. You know what I mean? So there's really a bunch we could do with this. Please let me know what you think. Okay, uh, question number two. Do you have any funny or cool pictures just from the school year or videos? Uh, I would love to throw these into the slideshow. So if you have anything from like girls volleyball, boys or girls soccer, cheer, dance, any club, uh, robotics, girls who code, painting for peace, anime, or just random pictures. Like maybe you took a, pic a really funny picture after the pacer of the mile and people are like totally knocked out. Like that'd be a great picture to include, you know? And maybe you have that, that super great picture on your phone where it's like, wow, I want everybody to see this and you want it to be a part of your freshman memory forever. Send it to me and I'll go ahead and put it in the uh, slideshow or the uh, yearbook slideshow for you. Okay. And then finally, uh, lots of my advisory said, hey, Mr. P, this yearbook's cute and all, uh, but it's sort of missing something. It's just pictures and yearbooks usually have like words or lettering. So here, for example, like there's not only the picture, but also like a little description. So if you'd be interested in working on this yearbook with me, um, just go ahead and highlight yes. And if we get 10 or 15 people, the more people we get, the more we can do. So maybe eventually we can like have a table of contents where it's like you're on pages 2, 17, 59, and 108. You know what I mean? So you can go by and, and check that out. 
I'm also looking for ideas on how we can share this, and I would really love to leverage you all because at the end of the day, I'm just one person, and uh, as we've seen in sociology, the more voices we have, usually the better uh, ideas we can come to. All right, then section two and three are shout outs. So section two, is there any anyone oops, you would like to shout out? Um, is there any other freshman you'd like to shout out in the freshman class, right? So for example, do you have like a really close friend? Has somebody continually helped you in school? This would be a great time to write a brief note, like dear blank, or I would like to shout out this person because they, and tell some good things about them. I can send that message to them or also put it in the yearbook. I'm looking to make a shout out section. Same thing, I know, um, you know, our, your teachers have had a big influence this year, whether it was a classroom teacher, like Mr. Nandez, Mr. A, Ms. Michelson, you know, Miss Lee, me, um, a coach. So like uh, Mr. Savala, for example, wasn't like your teacher necessarily in the classroom, but he was certainly a coach to many. Um, same thing like Mr. Hernandez did dance. Um, Miss Leon, I believe, did robotics slash engineering. I don't know who did Girls Who Code, but you get the idea, right? Or an advisor. So maybe you had an advisor, like, of course, Miss Aki or Mr. Shino weren't your classroom teachers this year because they did junior and seniors. But if you'd like to leave them a shout out, just like Dear Mr. Shino, just Miss Aki, Dear Mr. P, Dear um, Miss Lee, this might be a great thing to do. Okay. And then the last section is just an affirmation to you all. You are incredible, valuable, and important. Uh, please let me know if there's anything you'd like to talk about, whether it is going into next year in AP stuff. Uh, whether it's stuff that's currently happening or going on right now. Um, I'd love to have a one-on-one -on -one with you. I've already talked with quite a few students, actually, outside my advisory, about video game tournaments, um, about um, AP for next year, about finishing the year. So if you have any ideas, please just shoot them over to me. Okay. Love you all. Have a great day, and I'll see you soon.